Welcome back. In today's Excel tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a bar graph. A bar graph is normally used to show frequency and things in categories. So a category could be anything from 0 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, to apples and oranges, like in this example, or months of the year, days of the week, and things like that. So we want to visually show the frequency of something compared to others. So this example, we've got what is your favorite fruit? And we've got all of these fruits here on the left and the number of people that chose them on the right. So this is more of a tally type example. To create the bar graph, go to the insert tab at the top and then go over to the bar graph icon in the chart section, which is here. Bar graph should be the top left one. You can choose a 2D or 3D version. We'll just go with 2D for now. So to insert the data, you want to go to select data and if the cursor is over the chart data range, you can select your data. It should input something like this. You should see the categories on the right and if you click OK, you can see that it's almost looking how we'd want it to. We're first going to change the title though. You can see at the moment it's just people, but we'll want to change it to what is your favorite fruit or something related to our data. Okay, if you click on the graph and go to the design tab, you can see we have the add chart element button here. This is pretty much the main place you want to go for changing any of the settings that aren't visual. So things like the axes and things like that. So axes are already selected and in the titles we can choose. So we could put favorite fruit there or number of times chosen. But as this example probably doesn't need that, we don't need to add that now. You could change where the chart title is. So it's currently uh, above the chart. We can make it centered and that'll sort of bring the data into it, which is not a massive problem in this case, but I would prefer it above the chart. We can also add data labels, which will show the exact number of people that chose that fruit. You don't necessarily need this in a bar chart as the whole idea of the bar chart is to show the height of the bar. But if you do want to include those, you can do. You can add error bars to standard error, percentage error, or the standard deviation. Again, probably not necessary in your case, or certainly not in this case. You can change if there is a legend or where it is. And again, in this case, it's not needed. We know that it's people. And then again, a trend line is definitely not necessary in this case. It would only be necessary if you're trying to show something perhaps over time. So if you've got January, February, March, all the way through to December, you might want to use a trend line. But in this case, yeah, it's definitely not necessary because there's no trend that we're expecting here. There might also be a trend line if we're doing categories such as not to 10, because in that case, you might expect there to be a peak or somewhere. For example, if it was how many hours a week do you work, then it could be that you'd expect it to head to the 30, 35 mark and then sort of head down perhaps. So those are the settings that aren't visual. If we want to change some of the visual settings and how it looks, we can choose some of the presets that are already made for us here. If there's any of these that you like, you can choose them. There's a few more if you click on the down arrow as well. If you want to change the colors, you can. We've got the top one selected at the moment, but there are a few to choose from. And even more if you click on the arrow at the bottom. Quick Layout also has a lot of things already set for you. So if you have a look at each of those, and if there's any of those that actually fit your data, then you might as well save your time and use one of those. If you think that a bar chart might not be the best way of showing the data, you can click on the change chart type icon here and then you can choose another way to display the data, another chart. You can change the font and things like that by going to the format tab instead of the design tab. And this is basically how it is in normal Excel. So you can change the font with this section here, change the fill and it will select the, well, it will change the area that you've actually selected. So we've got the title selected at the moment, so we can change that how we'd like to. And that's it. That's the basic intro to the bar chart or bar graph in Microsoft Excel. Hopefully you've been able to create one. 
and if you have any questions then you can put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. If you did find the video helpful, remember to leave a like, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.